that of this pipe is very curved and other people are very curved. Let me give you another small example. I'm taking small, small example. There are many in life you have seen. Some American lady escorted me to the Statue of Liberty because a friend's wife and she said, we have to be in the queue all along. I was young. I was born 22 years ago. So she said, Dr. Gopal Singh, the late governor of Goa, he was known as a governor. We were having a seminar in Goa for uh, different telecommunication things. The one thing he said very quickly, very quickly, which we must, uh, you know, remember. With that, I will finish my, uh, uh, you know, address. He said, "We have to be committed." India. He was mentioning India because we are talking Indians. But I think this goes all over the world. We have to be committed to do the job correctly. And I think India has a great philosophy. Our friend is a philosophical lecturer, also, lecturer, also a writer. India has religion, culture, philosophy, where you can understand what is right, what is wrong. In fact, any educated person, that's why education is important. You will understand what is right, what is wrong. If you want to be do right, nobody stops you. If you want to do wrong, nobody stops you. Nobody can uh, you know, stop you. So I think this is a wide subject of corruption. Where and how to stop it is given four solutions. But as he rightly said, there are 44 or maybe 440 solutions more. If we can find it, that is great. Uh, the young bishop of the army. Today, 500 families rule less, and uh, corruption has not kept the highest office of this country wide. That's a shame. I am sure everybody knows about the corruption. It's disheartening. Uh, trying to find people at the right and the lower level to the top level corrupt. If we call only the politicians corrupt, I think uh, it's a mistake. Um, when I was a kid, uh, when I was trying to get my first license, uh, I remember those days when we had to pay 350 rupees. We did not realize what it was for. But you get the license in 15 days in your hand. Only when you grow up, you realize, okay, that is part of the system. We live in the system and we, we live a pseudo life. Recently, there's been a big argument about the, uh, the education system. In fact, I had openly challenged the minister in Tamil about uh, corruption in the education system. And uh, he was so open telling that, you know, we don't have uh, uh, capitation fees yet being you know, paid in Tamil Nadu. It's an open secret. You and I know that you know, without capitation fees, you cannot go to the major colleges in uh, Tamil Nadu. Anywhere in the Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's all about we know, we used to it, we live it. I think, you know, if you take corruption, corruption is rampant right from the 1950s. You know, if you look at 1952, the, the jeep scam in the Nehru government, uh, uh, why Mr. Seshadri was uh, asked to resign because of the LIC corruption, uh, why Mr. Anna, the, the chief minister of uh, Maharashtra resigned. At least those periods, those people had the moral to resign when, when at least caught. But today, you know, you take the Lalus and the, the Mayavatis and uh, I think it's a shame, you know, even, even if you caught, like, for example, the Kora recently. So if you talk about corruption, corruption is almost rampant everywhere. There's no point talking about Shukla or why the, the policies of 70 were written that the public sector unions make losses at Tata Steel's uh, make profit. I think what, why Reliance was brought in the mainstream in telecom because Mr. Trihan opened up the subject. It's all known. It's, it's public. We all know why, how Reliance was made, how Shukla's company was made. Or, you know, I think there's no point talking about corruption anymore. I think it's tough.